Okay, hello guys, this is Mitch from Mitch Tarantulas, and I've got um, an announcement to make. I got an order in from Creatures of the North the other day, and recorded an unboxing video of it, but sadly, my phone broke down shortly after, and I lost the file, so I can't show you guys the unboxing, so instead I'll just show you what I got. So he sent me four Monocentropus Balfouri. I'll insert some pictures of them, because I do have a few pictures. But sadly, since last night, I've got no clue where any are. I just chucked a bunch of dubia in there with them. So they've got something to eat by suspect they're under there. Or somewhere around here, because that's where I found webbing. So probably around that bit. You can see dubia over there. So I've got four Monocentropus Balfouri now. I got a hard bacteria polka piece. And you can see even at that size, they already look great and stunning. I got the Ceratogyrus species Mozambique. And these come gorgeous. Become gorgeous. No, I had ordered a uh, Ceratogyrus brachycephalus as well. But sadly, he ran out of slings when he was going to send me some. But he's got a second progress, so I'll definitely be ordering that when I get when, when he gets it. So yeah. And this is a... Um, also, this was a freebie. This is a Haplocosmia Himalanaya. I suspect she's in that corner. She burrowed down here as soon as I got her. And then she went in that corner. I think, because there's webbing there, I'm not sure. I don't know where she went. Really tiny, but there's like a web tunnel in that corner. So that's probably where she went. It's a really cool freebie. It looks like... Imagine like... Um, uh, Kilobracus species. And a Cantus cryogenic lala coloring. So they're pretty cool. So, um... Do, 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 where was I? Okay, yeah, so um, this one, together with the Mozambique, already ate. This one refused the dubia. I put a pre kill dubia on with each of them. I haven't seen these yet, eat yet either. And then I got a Petalteria rufala asling. And then I got another Nandochromatus freebie, which is in there. And I already have a Nandochromatus, but I mean... Can't complain about free spider, right? But look at how tiny this thing is. Jesus. So yeah. <laughs> That's what I got. So these are the new additions to um, each tarantulas. Uh, uh, the other crabs, they've both burrowed under each of these cork barks. I'm looking for a bigger enclosure for them. As we speak, like I'm checking secondhand places and stuff. Talk it to a few people to get a bigger enclosure. I think this is a bit too small. Because they've got a place to hide and then... They only have room on top of their hides basically to move around. But yeah, I've been feeding these like leftover from dinner. Like there's some potato that they ate from the little bits are um a crab food I had was like for um crab natural it's like for crayfish and small crabs, but they tossed some around so they seem to be eating as well. They're pretty cool. They only come out at night and they like hide as soon as they enter the room. But that's okay. These are plants from my enclosure building project. I will be rehousing two bracket pelmans in here, but I'm waiting for the substrate to dry out a bit. Uh, my dubia colony is doing great. My lateralis colony is recovering. The isopops are doing fine, although they're a bit humid, so I might have ventilation holes in the top lip, but I'm not sure about that yet. Another thing that happened is my avicular giraldi molted. I did a wet molt. Where is she at? Her web tunnel. Okay, so you can't see her. But she got a wet mold. Basically, how I noticed was she molted, and um, oh, of course she molted. And uh, her front legs were like completely wonky and crooked. Like if this was her leg, it was like facing that way when she was on her eight leg. So it was like pointing upwards, curving upwards, which I'm pretty sure her leg is not meant to do. <laughs> but oh well, I hope she'll um get better. From what I've researched so far, it should be okay once she hardens up. She, once she hardens up, she'll, um, she'll, 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 like, be able to eat again. And when she eats, we can feed her up to a new mole and then she'll hopefully be better. So I'll be looking forward to doing that. Uh, for Mecticus, the trichomat is molted. Uh, this guy molted, green bottle blue sling, 
Um, I'm pretty certain my Redunka should have molted somewhere or be molting. Um, this one's out all the time, so that's great. Suspect female now, by the way. Um, yeah, what else is going on? She's in pre mold. Um, anything else I should say? The Tapaniki is violaceous, molted, but I don't see her often at all. P metallic with attitude problems. Oh yeah, the grandma still a poker piece molted. I think this one molted too. I don't think you've seen it yet since she molted. So yeah, that might regard as molted as well, but we won't be able to get a look of that. So yeah, a lot has been going on. I've been really busy because school started and all that stuff. So I've not got the chance to do a feeding video because you just feed them on my own time because it's quicker than recording it. But yeah, more videos will be coming up. Oh yeah, and my Houghton Tota Houghton Tota diet to the scorpion that was right here. She is no more. I'm not sure what went wrong there, but yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> but well, that's a small update on what's been going on. So my only plans for getting new teas right now is the Ceratogyrus brachycephalus. And since the Sendari, Marshall, yeah, and Nerlini don't cost that much anyway, I might get those too, just so I have all the Ceratogyrus species. But we'll see about that. I'm looking for um, Langan Butchery for Psalmopobus as well. So those are two slings I still want, and I think I'm good for the rest of that. I've got all the pokies I want, because I've got Renata. Rufalata, Metallica, and Regalis. This is really all the pokies I wanted. Oh, look who's doing construction work. Isn't that great? He's digging out. This is my other uh, Nandichromatis, so yeah. Okay, so that's about an update on everything. Oh yeah, the ants. Well, all the ants have moved, except for this colony. And all the other ones have moved into the test tubes. And the ant nest in here is being really stubborn and doesn't want to move. But yeah, maybe they'll move once the current eggs hatch. So yeah, that's about nutty on everything. My gecko's doing great as well. Uh, the phasmids, I've got a lot of pyrophasma shulpi ova. So yeah, and my um, exosoma tiratums are getting pretty big. So yeah. That was me from East Ranches. It was about an update on everything that happened recently. I'm currently working on getting these, but I'm waiting for a few to dry out. And uh, yeah, they take up a lot of substrate. So I still need to do these two. I'm hydrating a cocoa fiber break for that. And I've got two more enclosures up in my room. There. I still have to do these two as well. But yeah, that was my update. Hope to see you again next see you again in the next video. Hope you enjoy. Sorry for losing the footage. And uh we'll be in touch more often hopefully. Because school's settling down a bit. So yeah. Peace.